What is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here we're gonna be talking about i know what you did last summer in this video here today so we got some big breaking news thanks to the hollywood reporter we now know who is going to be starring in the upcoming film that jennifer love hewitt and freddie prince jr are expected to return for as their characters ray and julie now again this came from the hollywood reporter and i will share my thoughts on this and as to who i can think two people might be playing so I Know What You Did Last Summer is hooking its cast ahead of a planned release next summer. Madeline Klein, star of Netflix's Out Outer Banks, and Camila Mendez, who played Veronica on CW's long-running Riverdale, are in talks to lead the ensemble of Sony Pictures' reboot of the 1997 horror hit. Also in negotiations are Tony Award nominee Sarah Pigeon, Atlanta's Tyreek Withers, and Jonah Har King, who played Prince Eric in Disney's live-action remake of The Little Mermaid. The Hollywood Reporter previously reported that Jennifer Love Hewitt and Freddie Prince Jr. were in talks to reprise their roles from the initial movie. Jennifer Caitlin Robinson is directing the new project from a screenplay she co-wrote with Sam Lansky after an initial script from Leah McKendrick. Neil Moritz, one of the producers of the original, is producing this reboot. Sony is moving swiftly on this one as it is penciled in a release of July 18, 2025 for the feature. Now, from my knowledge, isn't this film supposed to be shooting by now? I guess we'll learn sooner rather than later that they actually are filming. Or if they're not filming right now, they're going to start filming very soon in the fall. Now, it goes on to talk about the model for the new take. This upcoming film is the 2022 Scream reboot, which saw members of the original cast mix it up with a cast of young upcomers, up and comers, which in that case included Jenna Ortega and Melissa Barrera. It also follows a studio strategy of trying to build a new generation of stars, as seen with Sydney Sweeney, Glenn Powell's rom-com, Anyone But You. It goes on to talk about how Mendez broke out with the role of Veronica in Riverdale, which show I did not finish because it started to get trash, and her she herself is a phenomenal actress. The show is just trash, or it started to become trash after the first season, in my opinion. Talks about Klein, talks about Pigeon, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now... Here are my thoughts on this so far. I think this is lining itself up to be one of the most appealing cast we've ever seen for an I Know What You Did Last Summer movie since that original movie. And when it comes to who I could see playing who, Madeline, I could see playing the character of Ava. And in Tyreek, I could see playing Milo. If you recall, this allegedly will be about a group of friends who I'm assuming must be college aged because the incident that affects their lives allegedly happens on the night of a engagement party for some of their friends. So I could see Ava being played by Madeline, Milo being played by Tariq. They're supposed to be having some sort of off and on relationship. Now, as much as I would not want this to be the case, what I could see happening is that maybe we have some sort of Prillo Liars type of situation. And Camilla, although she's in talks to be a lead, you can still lead and be dead in a way, depending on how they utilize you, I guess. What if she is the accident or the victim of the accident? What if she ends up dying? You can see something like that going. I'm just struggling to see who she could play. Is she going to be playing this climate influencer that the film is allegedly going to include? Like I said, the film is supposed to be 30 years after the original. Ben Willis is supposed to become some sort of cautionary tale. And we're back back in Southport. I'm still struggling to see, though, so far how Julie comes into the mix. Are some of these people related to Julie and Ray? Time will tell. But so far, this is shaping up to be a quality cast. Very appealing. Um, I still see Milo again being played by Tariq, Ava being played by Madeline. Not to say that it can't be the other people involved, but they just seem like they would be Ava and Milo. Based off everything I know about those two characters, Milo, of course, wants nothing to do with Ava because she's going to be coping with the tragedy after the movie jumps a year later after the tragedy that happens on the night of an alleged engagement party it's going to jump a year later later ava is going to be sleeping around to cope and milo is not going to be down for being with someone who's in the streets like that she actually has a moment where she allegedly gets very aggressive and forward with him where she wants him to start choking her and be very aggressive with her sexually uh yeah she she seems very reckless so i can see it being those two but again, if it ends up being someone else, because I guess they're not officially signed on. They're just in talks right now. But more or less, I think all of these people will end up being cast. And the reason I say that is because the director 
has actually been following them on Instagram. If you go look at who she's following on Instagram, she's been following some of these people for a while, it would seem. So she also follows Sarah Michelle Gellar, which I thought was interesting because we know Sarah played Helen Shivers. So I'm like, why is she following Sarah? But then I was like, wait, her and Sarah already work together. So now that makes me a little bit more hopeful that we could see a Helen Shivers cameo or something that would have Sarah back in the role as Helen. We could do something in which Julie is memorizing, not memorizing, but like imagining a life in which her friends didn't die, specifically Helen. And maybe she can have some sort of dream in her head of her and Helen in a world where Helen didn't die. And thus, you don't have to worry about de-aging Sarah Michelle Gellar, who still looks great. But you don't have to de-age her to make it look like we're back in the 90s and stuff like that. And she can just play Helen all grown up. But of course, it's a dream because Helen is dead. I'm not expecting you to revive Helen, nor do I think that would be a wise decision to make. That ship has sailed, similar to a lot of characters from the Scream franchise that we don't want to let go of. But you guys can let me know what you think about all of this down in the comment section below. Are you looking forward to the I Know What You Did Last Summer reboot? Why or why not? What do you think the motive could end up being? Like I said before, I still could see something going on where Ava is sleeping around and something along the lines of what she was doing in between the year of what happened on the night of the engagement party to now and that sleeping around she was doing leading to who the killer is them probably blackmailing her over something that has to do with what she did from them sleeping around and they found out she actually killed someone a year prior and they used that against her to get back at her for whatever happened during that encounter in which she slept around with the wrong person and now is going to come back to bite her and her friends who sh this person might be jealous of because they think they are old Ava and everything about Ava. I can see something like that going on. I still just don't see how Julie would be important right now for this story yet either, but hopefully whatever it is is something that makes good use of her and doesn't just have her tacked on just because it's like, hey, well, you know, we're doing an I Know What You Did Last Summer movie and we need to have Julie back. Well, if you need to have Julie back, you also need to have something of s substance for Julie. Don't just throw her in there and then say, hey, you know, that's a box checked. But let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. Turn on post notifications so you can never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links to all my social media accounts. I am on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. Let me know if there are any movies, news, or reviews you would like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.